The development of SpaceX's Starship rocket has been a hot topic in the aerospace industry, capturing the imagination of people around the world. With ambitions of making humanity a multi-planetary species, the stakes are high and the margin for error is slim. However, as with any ambitious project, setbacks are to be expected. The Starship launch was supposed to be a historic moment for SpaceX as the largest rocket ever built was set to take off with about 5,000 metric tons of liquid oxygen and methane propellant. The excitement was palpable as the rocket slowly began to climb away from the launch pad, rumbling and billowing smoke. But what happened next was not what anyone had hoped for. Before we can continue, if you're interested in other Elon Musk related content, make sure to check out our channel. The gigantic rocket successfully blasted off at 8.33 a.m. Central Time or 13.33 GMT from Starbase, the private SpaceX spaceport in Boca Chica, Texas. Unknown to those on the ground, a handful of the super heavy first stage's 33 Raptor engines failed in the early moments of the flight, and more engines failed as time passed. By the time the rocket reached a peak altitude just short of 40 kilometers, as many as eight engines appeared to have gone out. This led to control issues, particularly at the moment when the Starship upper stage was supposed to separate from the first stage. Yikes, talk about a rough day at work. The launch system began flipping and rolling, and despite attempts to control the direction of the remaining engine's thrust, it ultimately ended in an explosion. This incident happened on 20th of April during the first test flight of the spacecraft designed to send astronauts to the moon, Mars, and beyond. The brilliant silvery and fiery streak in the sky was suddenly extinguished, leaving only smoke and dust in its wake. Think of it like this. When you were learning to ride a bike, you didn't just hop on and ride off into the sunset on your first try. You fell off, scraped your knees, and maybe even cried a little but you got back on and tried again until you finally got the hang of it. SpaceX is doing the same thing, just with rockets instead of bicycles. While many people may see this failure as a setback, for those who understand the iterative design methodology used by SpaceX, it is a necessary step in the process. Experts are hailing this as another successful failure for Elon Musk's SpaceX. This fail fast, fail often approach to development is a cornerstone of Musk's business philosophy and one that has served his company well in the past. Instead of spending years in meetings and analysis, SpaceX prefers to get the rocket into a good enough configuration and go fly, using the data from each test to identify and fix any issues. This approach may be messier, but it is also much faster, allowing SpaceX to build and test rockets at a rapid pace. Despite this setback, SpaceX remains committed to its goal of making humanity a multi-planetary species. However, there are clear concerns that must be addressed before the next test flight can take place. The reliability of the Raptor engines must be improved, both at ignition and during the entire flight to space. This will likely require further design iterations and testing. Additionally, the ground infrastructure that fuels and supports the Super Heavy rocket prior to liftoff must be improved. The post-launch imagery showed a massive crater underneath the orbital launch mount, and there were concerns with the propellant farm that stores gases and liquids needed for the rocket. SpaceX will need to make hard decisions about how to handle the immense amount of thrust from the rocket, whether it's through a flame trench or an upgraded water deluge system. Despite these challenges, there are reasons for optimism. SpaceX has ample data on the performance of the engines in flight and the plumbing inside the Super Heavy vehicle's engine section. The company can rapidly manufacture these engines at a rate of nearly one a day, which could expedite the testing and design process. SpaceX executives, including Musk, have hailed the test flight for achieving its major objective of getting the vehicle off the ground while providing valuable data that will help advance the Starship's development. It's clear that Musk and his team are undeterred by this setback and are already working on improvements for the next launch. Plus, we're happy to mention that there were no injuries during the test, and one of the rocket's biggest customers, NASA, was happy with the test. While there are certainly risks involved with space exploration, the potential rewards are immense. 
SpaceX and other companies in the industry are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and setbacks like this are a necessary part of the learning and improvement process. Let's see what experts said to this failure. Garrett Reisman, an astronautical engineering professor at the University of Southern California and former NASA astronaut, called the Starship test flight a classical SpaceX successful failure. But what exactly does that mean? He praised the company's strategy of embracing failure when the consequences are low, highlighting the fact that no astronauts were on board and the rocket was flown almost entirely over water to avoid possible injuries or property damage on the ground from falling debris. This approach is what sets SpaceX apart from traditional aerospace companies and even NASA. The willingness to take risks and push boundaries is what has allowed SpaceX to achieve such remarkable feats such as reusable rockets and sending humans to space in a commercially built spacecraft. Moreover, it's through these failures that engineers and scientists can identify and address potential problems, ultimately leading to safer and more successful launches in the future. As planetary scientist Tanya Harrison noted, just clearing the launch tower and reaching maximum aerodynamic pressure were significant accomplishments for the first flight of such a massive rocket. In fact, the risks of a single flight test were relatively small compared to the potential gains at stake. The Starship is designed to carry far more cargo and people to and from deep space than any existing spacecraft, making it a critical component of SpaceX's interplanetary exploration goals. With the ability to transport dozens of astronauts, entire lab facilities, and tons of rock from the Moon and Mars, the Starship could transform our understanding of the universe and pave the way for human colonization of other planets. SpaceX is already moving forward with plans for future test flights of the Starship prototype. As Elon Musk has noted, the company has a rapid pace of development, and it's possible that we could see humans on Mars within the next decade using the Starship as our primary mode of transportation. Of course, the road ahead will not be easy. As Harrison pointed out, designing a new rocket is a complex and risky process, and there are bound to be setbacks along the way. But with dedication and perseverance of the SpaceX team, there's no doubt that the Starship program will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. After the launch, Musk also took to Twitter to congratulate his team on an exciting test launch of the Starship rocket. He emphasized that they had learned a lot from the launch and were already planning the next test launch in a few months. This response reflects Musk's resilience and determination to continue pushing the boundaries of space exploration, even in the face of setbacks. However, despite his positive words on Twitter, Video footage of Musk's expressions immediately after the explosion suggests that he was upset and disappointed with the outcome. This is understandable, as the launch represented a significant investment of time, money, and resources for SpaceX. However, Musk's willingness to acknowledge the risks and potential for failure before the launch shows his understanding of the challenges involved in space exploration. Musk had warned ahead of the launch that technical issues were likely and that the launch represented a significant risk. He had stated that there were a million ways this rocket could fail, but remained committed to pursuing the launch nonetheless. This attitude reflects Musk's willingness to take calculated risks and his belief in the importance of space exploration for the future of humanity. For SpaceX, the Starship program is an important part of its ambitious plans for space exploration and colonization. The company has already made significant strides in reusable rocket technology with the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, and the Starship system is the next step in this evolution. While setbacks are inevitable, SpaceX is committed to pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space and continuing to advance the field of aerospace engineering. So, what are your thoughts on the current situation? Feel free to share your views in the comments section below. This concludes today's video. Please make sure to hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.